Well, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, EJ, and I am back with another Zatima Talk, y'all. Now, on Monday, of course, we're going to be going live, Tamika's Dan and I, and we're going to be breaking this whole thing down for you, episode seven and eight. Meanwhile, I am here to talk to you about some of my favorite moments from Zatima, y'all, because Zatima was popping this particular episodes y'all it was so crazy first of all they start with something really light and fun and that's where we leave off with Fatima running upstairs to catch Zach with the side chick and it's just a funny situation you know this is something that she gave to him that she wanted him to use because he was just doing too much you know when it came to you know the physical part of it And to see their reactions to all of this, it was just funny. So anyway, we are going to see that things are going to get kind of crazy on this episode because Nate is determined to figure out who is, well, he's not even trying to figure out who is catfishing. He's trying to prove that it's actually Fatima, whereas Tony and Zach don't believe it. Now, Zach is trying to stand tall, you know, and he's trying to be like, you know, he doesn't care. But we know that Zach was going to get a little intrigued after Nate decides to interact with the profile and set up a meet. And the person actually wants to meet in the stairwell at her job, you know. And so I'm just like, dang, this is crazy, whoever this is, you know, because clearly this is somebody who knows her, somebody who knows who she she is, what she does, her routine, all of that. And initially you want to say it's Belinda, but would they just make it Belinda? Because Belinda is really the only person that has like this huge beef with her, but who knows? So anyway, Nate is determined to get this done. So we're going to see them get into the car. They're going to be over there staking out the place. And then of course, Zach decides to follow. And then he ends up getting caught up and Fatima is like, I know that you wouldn't think that I would be doing nothing like this. But at the same time, that's when she also realizes that, hey, whoever this is, they know my routine. They know who I am. And of course, she's going to think that it's Belinda. But Angela's face, for some reason, just was like, "Mm, I feel like Angela might know something. But I don't know. I I would hope that it wouldn't be Angela. But who knows? Maybe it's the old grouchy lady that she was talking about who knows at this point who it could be but you know this whole scene was just funny and interesting now we are also going to see that Fatima's mama is not playing no games they don't ran a whole background check on Zach and they just not feeling him at all and I understand like trying to watch out for your kids and stuff like that and you want what's best for them but at the same time I feel like this is just a lot I feel like this is a bit much this is already somebody that Fatima has decided that she's going to spend her life with and for the most part she knows most things about Zach so why would you complicate things by running background checks and trying to you know have this conversation with him and doing all these extra things I just thought it was unnecessary and it's just one more person that's going to be in their relationship that doesn't need to be in their relationship we've already established that everybody just needs to get out of these two relationship I mean they have their issues but when the other people come into it I mean, they really have their issues at that point. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, Fatima is actually going to go to the therapist. She's going to run into Paul there. And Paul is still coming in hard, y'all. Like, Paul really wants to get at Fatima so bad. And Fatima always turns him down. He tries to give her his number. She gives it back to him. But what I really found interesting is in this therapy session, you know, she goes there to talk to him about talking to Zach. And he says, like, you know, you don't want to talk. And she's like, I'm good. You know, there's nothing wrong with me. This is about Zach. And she initially deflects everything, which is something that Fatima does a lot. She she deflects a lot uh, on a lot of things. She calls it processing, but I call it deflecting. However, she never really wants to admit that there could be some things that maybe she needs to talk about too, that maybe there are some things that she could work on as well. She just automatically says, no, Zach is the issue. He has this mom problem. He has this. It's not me. I'm good, you know. And that's typically a sign that, you know, there's probably an issue within you as well. And so the therapist, he believes that they both 
he needs to hear them both talk, you know. So he's not crazy. He knows and has probably heard this time and time again. So this is going to be really interesting to see how this all works. But when Zach is forced to have dinner with Angela and Bryce, and I say forced because, you know, Angela kind of just threw it out there because Fatima hadn't talked to him about it yet. And he didn't want to say no. So you know that he's doing this just because. And it's also awkward. It's just a very awkward situation. And I still stand by the fact of why do we need to have other adults around to have this conversation Angela needs to talk to Bryce by himself with himself. They need to have a conversation. This is not a group conversation. This is not a group thing. But Fatima does use this opportunity to have the therapist over as well. Now, of course, in this episode, the therapist hasn't made it there yet. But we know that she is going to use this as a moment to kind of introduce Zach to this therapist. So I don't know. This could either go all the way right or this could go all the way wrong. It's going to be interesting to see. Now, y'all know that they couldn't go without bringing up your girl, Deja, because, you know, Deja has decided that she's going to sue Zach. She's going to sue Fatima and she ain't paying this rent. But I think we all knew that she was never going to pay this rent. Like I was like, Deja not paying this rent. Like this is not going to happen. And so now she has made it some legal reason why she's not going to do so because she's been advised not to pay the rent. I'm just like, Zach, you gonna need to evict this one right here. You're going to need to get rid of her because it's one thing for her to be running around here, flirting with you and doing all this extra stuff. But I'm gonna need you to run me my money, Deja, seriously. So anyway, y'all, those were just some of my quick thoughts about this episode it was a lot going on, but I really enjoyed this episode. I think it's going to be a lot for us to talk about on the live. So make sure that you show up for the live on Monday. If you want to talk about Zatima, if you want to tell us about what you thought about the episode and all that good stuff, we would love to see you guys there. Meanwhile, guys, if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your girl channel. Turn on your notifications so that you do not miss out on any of my future Zatima content. Now, YouTube says that you might just like this video next, so go ahead and check it out. Until next time, guys, peace.